There is evidence Boris Johnson misled Parliament over the Partygate scandal. That's what the Commons Privilege Committee said today. An interim report found the COVID breaches would have been obvious to the former Prime Minister when he told MPs he did nothing wrong. But tonight, Mr Johnson fought back, insisting there is no evidence he knew rules were being broken. And he questioned the role of civil servant Sue Gray, who led the damning internal inquiry into Partygate and who has now quit to join Labour. Here's our political reporter, Amy Lewis. Boris Johnson was raising a toast that would be the beginning of his downfall. Previously unseen photos of Downing Street gatherings show the then Prime Minister surrounded by bottles, apparently breaching lockdown rules. Time and time again, he's told the same story. All guidance was followed. No Covid rules were broken. A committee of MPs investigating whether he has misled Parliament has found evidence strongly suggests COVID rule breaking would have been obvious to Mr Johnson when he was at the parties. That he failed to tell the House what he knew about them, where the rules had been broken. He did not correct misleading statements to the House of Commons at the earliest opportunity and had personal knowledge of lockdown gatherings in Number 10 Downing Street, which he could have told MPs. Today, Mr Johnson said there was no evidence he knowingly misled Parliament. I believed implicitly that they were within the rules. I believed that what we were doing was uh, within the rules. That's what I said. That's why I said what I said in, um, in the chamber. Uh, I, that, it was my honest belief at, at the time. Also released today, WhatsApp messages sent between Downing Street staff. One read, can you pull together our best possible defence on this one? I don't know what we say about the flat. Another replied, don't we just do a generic line and not get into whether there was a drinks thing or not? I think the evidence of wrongdoing by Boris Johnson is already pretty damning. And I think, first and foremost, of the families, not just those that lost loved ones, but also all the other families who were obeying the rules, changing their lives. Femi Akinola was a care worker during the pandemic. He died after contracting coronavirus. His son has watched and Boris Johnson's uh, interview. It made for uncomfortable viewing. I buried my father and the next day there was a party in Parliament. And that's something I have to think about every time it comes up that he says, I didn't break the rules. You did. It's clear that you did. There are pictures of you breaking the rules. So just tell the truth and let's put this to bed once and for all. Boris Johnson is due to give evidence to MPs later this month. They, like the families who lost loved ones during the pandemic, believe there are still unanswered questions. Johnson has said that he finds it, in his words, peculiar that the committee has used evidence from Sue Gray's investigation. The senior civil servant yesterday quit her job to uh, take up a post as the Labour leader, Sir Keir Starmer's chief of staff. Well, last year, Boris Johnson accepted the findings of her report, which found that there were breaches of the rules. However, today he has questioned her independence. But strip Sue Gray away from this and you still have the fact that there were 100 and 26 fines handed out following those Downing Street gatherings. And don't forget, of course, too, that Boris Johnson was fined by police for breaking lockdown rules. Hey, okay, Amy, thanks very much.